Meet executive chef Douglas Anderson of the Four Seasons Hotel in Washington, D.C. In his kitchen, used vegetable oil doesn't go to waste. We go through daily about 20 gallons for sure of vegetable oil because we change the fryers, four of them in the hotel every day. And so it is an important resource to try to do something with. Greenlight has a special container they have, which is incredibly clean, I might add, that you dump the oil on the top and they come in and drain it. So where does Greenlight take the used vegetable oil? To their biodiesel plant in Princess Anne, Maryland. This is what the used cooking oil looks like when it comes to us. It's kind of nasty, right? It's got water in it and it has solids in it and um, it's not something that we can use as is for production of biodiesel. So it has to be cleaned up. In terms of footprint, we're about 6,000 square feet all told and this plant, as it sits, can produce about 4 million gallons a year. Vegetable oil was basically taken from a once living thing and it actually has to go through a pretty intense process to convert vegetable oil over into something that can be used as a fuel the way you and I define it. Um, and that process incidentally does take energy. So if you take a look at the energy that we have to use to process the oil here um, and what the energy content of the biodiesel, it's it's um, about one energy in to get four out. Then hey, why not? There's no reason not to use a waste product for an energy source. After the used vegetable oil is cleaned up, it moves to the gas station. The EPA requires that a certain percentage of transportation fuel that is sold, a certain percentage of that is um, alternative fuel. But in uh, 2010, when the revised version of that legislation came out, there is a portion of that that must be biodiesel. So you use a 5% out of your, your diesel that you're using for, um, for your state vehicles. Just 5% fo um, biodiesel in the fossil diesel can make an impact on the environment. That doesn't require vehicles to make any mechanical changes. Um, you know, you can use much more than 5%, particularly in the summer, without any modifications at all. The incentive is, is we, we see a, a, a use for a product that we no longer need that can become something of use. So it, it's more of a, a moral payment than, than any cash or anything of that nature. <laughs>